Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to save time in DaVinci Resolve by creating reusable project templates, timelines and titles. This method on average saves me about 10 minutes of setup time per project. Imagine each time you start a new project, all your media bins, titles are already there. The track layer is pre-built and your audio levels are set before you start the edit. Nice. You can also download the templates I've created, they're available for free in various frame rates, plus get a free title pack from davinciresolvetitles.com. We have an awesome Facebook group dedicated to learning DaVinci Resolve where members support each other and help each other grow. Load up DaVinci Resolve and then we're going to go create a new project. We're going to call it Template, press Create. In the bottom right hand corner press the cog to go into Project Settings. In the Master Settings panel I've got mine set to 4K Ultra HD and my frame rate set to 30. If you shoot in a different frame rate like 24, 25 or a different one, you might want to change this here. And the other thing you might want to look at is color management. I have mine set to DaVinci RYGB Color Manage and then DaVinci Wide Gamma Intermediate. This gives you the biggest color space to work in for color grading. And I've also set my gamma to 2.2 because this is better for sort of YouTube and mobile phone devices. If you're shooting for TV, go for gamma 2.4. But for me, 2.2 is the better option. And then just press save. Next, I'm going to jump into the edit page, and this is where we're going to start creating our template. And first up, just make sure you're in the media pool. To open it, just click on this, and media pool should be available to you. And we're going to go right-click, timeline, create new timeline. And I'm just going to call this 4K 29.97, so I know which one it is. And then we're going to go to uncheck project settings and we want number of video tracks. I'm going to set this to four and then number of audio tracks. I'm going to set this to six format. I'm going to set this to 4K Ultra HD and leave the rest of these as is. Press create. So now we can see we've got four video tracks and six audio tracks. And the way I like to set these out is audio one is going to be my A-roll sound. So if I'm talking to the camera, it's going to be on there. Audio 2, 3 and 4 are going to be my sound effects. Audio 5 is going to be for voiceover. And down at the bottom, I'm going to have Audio 6, which is my music track. I'm just going to label this quickly now. Once you've labelled your audio tracks, make sure your mixer is open and just expand it by grabbing the edge. So we should be able to see all our audio tracks. And I know that my volume levels for my sound effects tracks are all going to be around about minus 15. So I'm just going to drag them down to minus 15. And my music, I know that's roughly going to be about minus 20 to minus 25. So I'm going to set that. My voiceover and my main audio, I'm going to leave as is. And we're going to add some effects to our audio tracks by going up to the top left corner, turn on effects, and then we're looking for audio effects. And then there's a one I use all the time, it's called Dialog Processor. Drag this onto Audio 1, as that's going to be our main audio. And you can set it up however you would normally. So I'm going to go for Male VoiceOver. You can fine tune this if you know what your settings are. Press the X to close it. And I'm also going to do the same effect on the VoiceOver. I'll have that set up for Male VO. Press that. And you can, if you want, jump into Fairlight and set your voiceover inputs. So on our track, we want to select it, expand our mixer, and then on our voiceover track, I'm just going to select input, select my microphone and make sure it's on volume left and right and press patch. So I know that that's ready to go should I need to do a voiceover. And that's our master timeline set up. So whenever we create a new project, we can use this timeline and all these settings are going to be pre-built. Another top tip is if you need vertical timelines, I can right click duplicate timeline. Rename it. I'm going to call this one TikTok. And then we can right click, go into timelines, timeline settings. And this is where we can change it to uh, TikTok format. So with this, I've got it set to 1920 by 1080. Press use vertical resolution. We can now see it's 1080 by 1920. And it should, once we press OK, so I double click on it and there is our vertical timeline with all our audio settings exactly as they were in our 4K timeline. So you've now got two blank timelines. We could just export the timeline and call it a day by right clicking on it going timelines, 
export and then clicking on this option for DRT and you could export that and save it in a location where you could reuse it. But no, we're going to go a bit further and make it even better. Create a new bin and I'm going to call this one Timelines. Drop our timelines into the timelines folder. Keep it nice and organized. We're going to make this project even better by bringing in content that we use all the time. So if I press this little switch here, which reveals this column, I can then go to my computer, then I can go find my sound effects and my copyright free music libraries. And then I'm just going to drag them into here. And it may take a moment for it to import because there's a lot of files. And I'll scroll up to the top. And as we can see there, I've got all my copyright music, all my sound effects are now available to me in this project. We can go up to File, Export Project. I put it on the desktop and call it Template and then whatever properties you set, so 4K, then the frame rate. Press Save. Now I'm going to go Quick DaVinci Resolve. Over on the right, here's our template file. So if I double click on this, it's going to open up exactly what we created. We've now opened our template and what you need to do, the very first thing you should do is go to file, save project as, and give it the name of your new project. So we're not altering the template. We've just used the template to create a project. So you think, oh, that's really useful. I can copy projects, get them set up exactly how I want out of the box. Well, there's more. And it gets even better. We can even add titles to our template by going into effects, Find the titles that you want. In this case, I'm going to go for the JTEC WP YouTube pack. So I can drag my title onto the screen, bring down the Y value. So I'll slide that down so it goes into position. Because I know I'm going to place my face there. And then I'm going to go into File. And then you can rename this to whatever you want. Then go into your bins, go new bin. We're going to call this titles. And what I can do is I can drag this into our titles folder. I'll take it out of the timeline. So if I drag this in now to our timeline, we can see it's exactly where I left it. We can do the same again with a different title. So like your channel URL, if I drag this in, I can then go and customize it, make sure it's correct. I test it how it looks and again I could just go into file long I'll call it final because I know that's the right one and again we can just grab this and drag it into our titles library and then we could go up to file export project and we could give it a title we could call it template 2 if you found this helpful please leave a comment below hit that like button and smash that subscribe and if you didn't like it hit that dislike twice and thanks for watching